The procession was led by his daughters, eight-year-old Luana and her sister, Zaria, who's seven. Their mother, Prince Frito's wife, Princess Mabel, to their right. His mother, Princess Beatrix, just passing the minister. The understated nature of this intimate family farewell was a reflection of how Prince Friso chose to live. This is the house Den Bosch, the royal residence in The Hague where Prince Friso was returned to to spend the summer holidays with his family. He was the unconventional prince who rejected royal protocol in favour of love. He gave up his place of succession, second in line to the throne, after the Dutch government refused to give its consent to his marriage to Princess Mabel because of questions over her previous relationship with a notorious Dutch gangster. And that was one of the things that made him such a popular prince. But at the palace earlier, just a few security guards clearing away the barricades designed to control the crowds that never came. Instead, thousands respecting the family's wishes for privacy, sharing their sympathies online. A lot of compassion with the Queen, now the former Queen, Princess Beatrix, because she lost her son. And it's, it's of course, something um, every parent should never uh, want to, to, to live through. So it's, it's a difficult time for her as well. So. Prince Friso had been on holiday with his family in the Alps. He'd gone up skiing off piste when the avalanche came crashing down. It took emergency teams around 20 minutes to rescue him. His brain was starved of oxygen. He's being buried here in the village of La Chavursha, where his mother, Beatrix, plans to retire. The prince passed away the day after his wife, Princess Mabel's 45th birthday. The ceremony conducted by the man who married the couple less than a decade ago. There will be a public memorial later this year. Anna Holligan, BBC News in The Hague.